afternoon. Is it a, yes, it, it is. is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lazy morning yes. today. We really have. We really have. This is the first time Margaret's actually spent the night again yes. at my place since the end. Since, since February, the very beginning. Well, the beginning of March. I think yeah. we came out right, right before, before we went away. Yes, yes. So, yeah. So, it's been uh, great. She's come out quickly for the day here and there for us to do a couple of recordings, but that's it. So, we had a nice leisurely evening after a knit night, which we sat outside, outside on my deck. With just a few of the ladies. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then we also had, um, what else did we do? And then we just had a leisurely morning. Just yes. taking it easy, yeah. having a coffee, coffee on the deck, and coffee cake, mm -hmm. <laughs> the leftover from last night. Yep. That was breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> breakfast of champions. Yes. <laughs> coffee cake. Coffee cake. Uh, so. so, anyways, welcome. I am Sheila. You can find me on Ravelry as Shishi62. And I'm Margaret, and you can find me on Ravelry as Magpie60. Uh, we are Three Sisters Knit, mm -hmm. and this is. Yes, if oh, you, so you can't read it, I'll bring it over. I just picked this up at the dollar store. There you go. Three <laughs> Sisters Knit, episode 78. Yes. I'm going to put it down because I'm afraid we just move a little. It's, it's going to fall, yeah. but yeah. Fall. Anyway, anyway, that was a fun little That purchase. was a little, woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> Four dollars, woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> Big spenders. Big spenders, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, anyway, right. so we're going to talk about our projects. And yes. You've, of course, got a lot. I've got a little bit. Yeah. I've got a little bit, but I've got one thing I want to sort of just put out there because today's the last day. I have to sort of figure this out. Mm -hmm. um, I have a month to um, complete a project using a minimum of using at least three skeins. And, so, and it's, um, do you want to talk about, you may as well just yeah, talk about it's, that. It's for the Grace and Wool. She's having a summer stash camp. And yep. she put us into bunks, um, so I'm in the crackling campfire bunk. <laughs> and it, um, the first month we had to use one skein of yarn, mm -hmm. do a project with one skein of yarn. Mm -hmm. um, the second month we had to do use two skeins of yarn. So I've got that project and it's finished and I love it. It turned out really well. And for August, our third month, we have to do use a project using three skeins of yarn. So, and when we put in our thing, we have to put the amount of yarn that we've used yes. and all of this for each of the projects. So, so we, so I've done that. So, so it's, what did I'm you, what did you make with your one ball? What I made with my one ball was a pair of socks for my husband. Okay, and I showed right. that on the last podcast. Yes. So I did a pair of socks and I used that, um, it was the yaw wool, the yaw wool yeah. from Lang. Yeah. And so the, and the whole point of this particular it's one is you use you stash. stash because a lot of people yes we want to buy but I know I know myself I don't particularly like to buy online but that's yeah. just me mm -hmm. only because especially for somebody new because yes. I want to I'm I'm tactile and I want to go and feel and really look, look at, at the, the colors, colors. Yes. and things like that I'm more that's the kind of yeah. person I am if it's I someone that we've bought for from, from before, before we're I don't have a problem buy I will yes. definitely definitely yeah. Um, or even if I've gone to, yeah, especially if we've gone to like one of the festivals or things like that and we have found, and we've found them there mm -hmm. and just, um, and I'll reuse it again, uh, and we'll buy from them if I've seen their wool and I've been in their booth and all of this sort of stuff so that I don't have a problem. Even if I haven't bought their wool, but I've seen, seen it, it. Yes. and felt it and all of that. So mm -hmm. I, that's, but just, we all have stash. Oh yeah. We all have a lot of stash. Yeah. So it's and just, I think when it's it, when she started this, yes. we were all kind of self isolating. It was just yes. at the beginning, and it was kind of a yeah. a fun way because nobody really knew what was going to yes. happen. And she all put the... it out like basically at the end of May to start at the beginning of June. Yeah. So we were still everybody was still, still in a lot of, of isolation, and, and a lot like of the festivals and things were were, were canceled. Not, yeah, they were all canceled. Yeah. So this was a fun way to kind of keep moving forward with our projects. Yes. And whips yes. And, Yes. Stash, yes. You know. And that's the, and I'm also finding that with the, um, with my, the craft bingo that I am mm -hmm. doing for the, uh, bling your string podcast mm -hmm. as well, because, um, because I've set the bingo, the goals of the things I want to achieve throughout the year on a bingo card, whether or not I complete them doesn't really matter, but it certainly is keeping me focused and helping me one, go through my stash yes. two. Um, just work on things that I want to, that I've wanted to do for a while. So you add that to you, like you put that on your bingo card at the beginning of the mm -hmm. year and you've got a whole year to work on these projects and sort of tick them off. And it just, 
instead of just me it, it's and just the fun, a fun the, way because the fun thing to, about doing it that way too is you you have the list basically mm -hmm. your bingo card is like a list yes and you can just pick and choose and say oh i i I'm, i don't feel like doing socks i want to do you know a, yeah. a cardigan for a little kid or yes. you know yes. you can pick and choose so you still have the nice variety yes um and like little yes. things to do and then a bigger project that maybe you'll just yes. pick up now and yes then. and so it's a fun way of and doing that, it that way. and that one is is the only time constraint is you have the year yes. you have to complete these projects in the year yes whereas the summer stash camp you literally have a month to work on that, that one particular project, project. project. Yep. or so that's it you have yep. to you can't start it prior to the beginning of the month yeah so this is what uh this is what i'm doing so with that you, you finished one is this the two ball my one. two ball one i finished mm -hmm. so these it's are so pretty my two ball one i finished this is the um mother's the prayer. mother a mother's prayer from debbie reese mm -hmm. of uh periscoping sisters this was her mystery knit along that she has that she does every year for Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Mm -hmm. um, there were four clues, so it was like basically you got a clue a week, um, and I think in April at the end of April she um, then uh, she offered it for free. And actually, we looked last night, and it is still free. Yes. And uh, because of all this pandemic stuff and that, they decided that they would offer it for free yes. because a lot of people weren't able to go mm -hmm. out and get their yarn and things like that. So I absolutely love yep. this. It's just lovely. There's like a seed stitch at the top and then there's this lace section here and then it goes into a, the garter section and then it goes into this lace section. And then there's a little bit of just a few rows of seed stitch here. And the hard part to see is that see these little bots, see this? You just knit two rows, sorry, two rows and you make these little baubles every, like they're just absolutely tiny little baubles. And but then it's a you, cute little and detail. It, it is, it's a very cute little detail and I absolutely loved making it, loved, loved, loved making it. It was uh -huh. so much fun, so much fun. And I just it's love so it. Pretty. The and colors are nice. The, the colors are perfect together. Yes, yes. And like it's just the size is yeah. so wearable and this yarn is hedgehog fibers in their color shiver and the blue tonal one is um, all dyed up in their step one blue okay because I love that blue I know it's quite tonal it's um, like if you wear blue jeans you could this is perfect for wearing that for anything like, like a nice white t-shirt yep. and your jeans oh my god it would be like yep. absolutely perfect absolutely perfect uh -huh. one of the um, if you go onto the project page for this and you look at the project if there's there's a couple there's yeah some of the like they're just stunning somebody did theirs it's because it's a two skein project somebody did theirs all in one color and it looks fabulous because there's enough it's amazing. detail in yes. the stitches it's amazing how wonderful it looks all in one color mm -hmm. so you can if you, if you have, have two skeins of one color yeah. that you really like it's it's a perfect project for that absolutely perfect and just wonderful absolutely and it seemed to wonderful. knit up fairly well it yeah it takes it like you can like you literally get through this in less than a week Wow. Because you're given a week right to, before, the, before next the next clue. clue, and they've always got this sort of garter, garter. So a you couple get like a row, row, a few rows of garter, just yeah. to sort of blend Almost in. Almost like a little stripe. Yeah, a little but stripe. It, but it bit. looks cool. It does. It looks very good, and it's so. It's just I love it. Love it. Love it. It is so so nice. Just I just think it's just gorgeous. I love the pops of the pink in there. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, I really. It's, I can't say enough about it. I really like it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Really, really like it. Yeah, but. I also made, and I just whipped these up in the last, it took me five days start to finish. <laughs> it's sort of sort of my own pattern, but not. It's If you're a sock knitter, you kind of know what, what you yes. do for socks. Yes, what you like. So yesterday was my oldest grandson's birthday. He turned three. <laughs> and he's just suddenly gotten into minions. <laughs> so I was looking at patterns and to actually do the minion socks and stuff there was a lot of intarsia involved and or they were crocheted and things like that and I just I didn't want to do that I wanted something knit but not so not so intensive I didn't want to have to learn something new at right now because I wanted these done quickly um, so I made up my own pattern which is 
but using bits from other patterns. Like I know how to cast, I know how to do a ribbing. So I did ribbing. I went down so many rows. I did the black stripe, continued on. And then I used the blue. And the main area I did with the blue, I used um, the children's pattern for the Row City Rollers. Okay. Just, just for the basic foot, like the drop heel, I used yeah. that from theirs. And I just did my own length for the foot and then the toes. Yeah. So, like, it's pretty yeah. easy. So, this one is like this. I started out with 56 stitches. When but you I, meant. When I, when I, I actually meant 52, but I did 56 and kind of, it's a little big on him. Um, so when I did the second sock, I did 52 stitches, which does fit him a lot better. And, but what I did was I dropped the yellow down at the heel, whereas this one is not. <laughs> it's all blue. That's so funny. Because I thought it kind of looks a little bit more from the front and the back, like the little bib that they have for their oh, overalls. Right. Yeah, it does. But. It just, yeah, so, the, the, but it, it it's, it's fits much better mm -hmm. on his leg. And this one, actually, I took down when I did the, um, the gusset decreases, mm -hmm. I took it down to 52 stitches. So from the gusset decreases for, onward. The, for the onward, it's the 52 stitches. So, but I really, I thought that these were adorable. I might get some, um, and when you, when he came in yesterday, yes. I had one look. I just look at, I said, what are these? And he goes, minions. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to put the eyes on it. And he, yeah, thought he, he was knew. thrilled with yeah. it. So I'm debating whether or not to even <laughs> yeah. put the eyes on. He likes them. But they're still a little large on his leg. Mm. And he goes, too big, too big. I said, well, here, do you want to take them so that you, when you get, when your feet get bigger, that you can wear them when you're, when they're, when your foot and leg get bigger. No, too big, too, so he wouldn't take them. <laughs> I'll just keep them here until he's a little bigger. <laughs> but it was too funny. funny. Well, you know what? They were, they were a little bit, this yeah. one especially is quite baggy yeah. on his leg. It was like so funny. But he loves, he does like, he likes, because he now gets to the point where he sees me and he gives me my, takes my project bag and goes, nanny knit. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I know. Kids, they're so funny. Yeah. So that is my finished projects for the month. That's mm -hmm. it. So because I keep track of it in my uh, in my thing here, and every time I finish something, I go at the back of the month there and I add to yes. it. So I have to actually add those socks in there. So, but yeah, that's it. That's all my finished. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have anything finished. So. No, no. But I have. It's just whips. What are we working on? So, what so are you working on? I am working on my second ranunculus sweater. Mm -hmm. So this is. Um, I it's like a cherry it, pink. Yeah, I don't even know if, if I ever showed this in the past or not. I don't but, think you have. But this is uh, the most recent one. Then. So I've, I'm just at the role where I'm going to be binding off for the, for the arms, uh, arms um, like at the underarm section. So I finished the entire yoke. And then essentially once I finish that, it's just like straight knitting. Um, yeah, you have like a total of maybe 10 inches to knit. Yeah. So Eight to 10 um, this one, I did the wider neckline. It gives you two, uh, I think, two options for the neckline. Yeah. And I did a wider neckline. Yeah. And essentially, it's the same thing that you do. It's yes. just you, uh, rather than um, waiting until and then increasing your stitch count once you finish the ribbing, yeah. you just start right at that, that increased stitch count. Yeah. So because I found that for the other one I made the lighter pink yes um I didn't mind it in the winter no. but I just thought mm, I, start, I'm, this I'm is more cute. of a, you can wear, like it, a, wear a cute little tank under it something more lightweight and with it being open it, it's, it's a just little, a little yeah. more yeah mm -hmm. I like a uh, open I would yeah. much rather be open I know you like to yeah. have your neck warm yeah I do too but I like to be open and then having something to wrap around to wrap around which I do that too take so, on and off yeah as I'm feel comfortable. So yes. I'll show you the yarn that I'm using. So this is yarn that when we went to Savannah six, six years, years ago, ago, I know we um, bought at the we, frayed knot. We bought at the frayed knot. Yeah. So this is, um, let me see which one, this one. No, I think. So I'll show you the, the mohair is this, the brand is a Japanese brand called Ito, which we absolutely love that. Yeah. It's beautiful, and this is their Sensei, which is 60% mohair and 40% silk. Yeah. 
It's fabulous. And Absolutely fabulous. The color is hydrangea. Yes. Color 307 hydrangea. Yeah. It's really, really nice. I just love this color. As you can tell, yes. it's this yes. color that I really go yes. for. Uh, and then the other one, this one here, it came, comes on a cone like this. Mm -hmm. Which I just left it on the cone and worked yes. from it oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, it's I also, did too when I used my, when I yeah. used mine. So it's also the Ito brand, mm -hmm. and this one is their Kinu, which is 100% silk, yeah. and it's K I N U. So yeah. um, anyway, I am really loving. Um, it's more like of a, yeah, yeah, it's more of a raw is. silk than a very processed. Silk. Yeah, so like. I find this kind of helps tone down the yes. brightness of this. Well, it looks very cherry blend together, like and a cherry together, I Yeah, I find they're together. just really, really yeah. pretty together. So, so yeah, that's what I'm working on. And so last night I got mm -hmm. to the point where I could, where I'm just about to bind off yeah. for the so she'll under do that arms, when she and goes then, home. and then I'm uh, is straightening down from there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I'm really happy with how this is looking. Yeah. And um, it looks lovely. And then later I'll talk about you know what I want to work on next. I'll show yeah. that because we need to wind that before yes. I go home. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that before you go home. So that is that. But anyways, um, when I was talking earlier about the Grayson, uh -huh. well, what what am I working on right now? I don't Where know. is my oh my green bag's right here. Yeah. This is the only other part. This is the only thing I have, the only whip that I'm really working on right yeah. now. I still am on the first sock of this vanilla latte. <laughs> now that I've finished the shawl and that other pair of socks, I'm on the foot part. So as this is, this part's actually going to go really quickly, but they're still working on it, mm -hmm. but that's about it. I love it. I just absolutely love how it's knitting up. I really do. I love the colors. I do too. You know what? I and was I looking love at the colors the and I'm going, why do I really like Remember Irene had some leftover yarn and I yes. made I made some of those mitered squares and yes. I made the little pillow yes. in the guest room. Yes. It's the same colors. Yeah. It's the same colors. Yeah. So and I really And the yellow really, really, really yellow makes just pop. It does. It does. It really, really does. So that's that's it. That's pretty much what I've been working on. Mm -hmm. Just that was it. Worked on that at knit night last night and that was that. Mm-hmm. So, but working with the uh, Grayson Wool on that, trying to figure out three a three skein project. Mm -hmm. So, I have got lots of things. Now, one of the ones I could do is um, I had that. There was There's another one little, underneath. Oh, that's there the one. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking of making this sandscape. Now, this I bought this the quarry. And this is her grayscale, and there's eight skeins in there, and there's a hundred yards in each uh, mini 25 skein. gram mini skein. These are 25 grams. So that gives me 800 yards because there's mm -hmm. eight of them. So, mm -hmm. and this takes 800 yards total, this shawl called Sandscape by Northbound Knitting. So I would just basically wind them from light to dark and um, in a continuous ball. I'd sort of oh. do the magic knot and I would just knit the whole thing and it would just come out as it came out. Yeah. But it would still be the gray scale like this, mm. like she shows it here. It would still show the gradient. Yes. It would so, look as, like a gradient. Yes. yes. But if I needed and more. And so that would be equal to three or four skeins. Uh, 800 yards is probably two. Two skeins? Two fingering. It's fingering. Oh, that's true. So that's it true. would just be two. two skeins, about two. Yeah. But. One of the other th options I was thinking of was also using this one. This is Ooh, a typewriter, but you, yeah. you gave it to me because I had one that was similar. That I used in my... That you used in, in something. My, yeah. So this is the this is the Hedgehog Fibers typewriter. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, that works out well yeah. as the lightest, because you put it against the lightest one here, mm -hmm. and like you could do that one first to fade in. Yes. Right? So that's that another possibility really cool. and that would work out because As this uh, has three skeins. Yes, yes, because that is 300 grams. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So that's an option. But I, I like that idea. I actually. know, I know. I but think you should do that at some point. At whether some it's point. Now so or it's not. that. But see, what I was thinking of doing with the grayscale was this Bay of Fundy scarf. Oh, yes. And it's we have an, looked at It's that. a rectangular one. It's a, I believe it's a free pattern. It, it's from the girl who does uh, the blue brick. Yes, the blue brick. And this is what it looks like. 
and it's got the it's got the, the beautiful um, cabling beautiful down, cabling down, one, down one the one length. side yeah. and it's sort of like a nice wide rib yeah I love it I just love it uh, it's beautiful and I just thought that the gray scale going light to dark would and that would so look really cool. amazing so yeah. that's one option yeah two options for so, one, two one options batch of, for one batch of yarn yeah so that's one another option I have is I thought well maybe I could you do the uh, her the curious handmade happen to habitation throw I have all the 20 gram minis from my advent calendar mm. that I got from Gracelyn Wool, who mm -hmm. is Sarah Stevens, mm -hmm. and she's the one that runs this. Her, she's of the the Grace, Grace and Wool podcast. podcast. Yeah. So, it was like, well, I probably use maybe fifteen grams of each of these because I do want to add a little bit of each of these into my um, my cozy memory blanket mm -hmm. just to help it grow. So if I did fifteen grams. Of each of these start just and I have no idea which is day one day two I don't really care mm -hmm. it's not a big deal it's just a matter of I would it make can, a magic can, knot ball with yeah, it and just put the colors and in just, an order that works just, to where you like it well no I would just grab oh, oh, one okay. and go because yeah, that's see, what you I do. do everybody that. does just because it's hard to really gradient no I know but I was I would sit and yeah with it but see it. Yeah. It's like doing it's like doing the granny stripe blanket. You just grab a ball no. and you add, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's so what you're supposed I would to put do. Them in order. It's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so that is an option. Um, it would be bigger than the actual throw turns out because I would just basically once I get through twelve skeins, then I would start the decrease. Yeah. So that would be how I would do it. The um, the actual finished size is supposed to be about 40 inches square. So it would be bigger than that. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. That's, yeah. that's option three. Yeah. Option four is I have my mother-in-law went to a yard went sale. Went it, it, at the cottage. It's a community yard sale. So everybody has their little spot. Right. So she walks around the auditorium and she picked up eight skeins of this yarn for myself and it is 80 67 percent acrylic 25 percent wool and eight percent viscous so it is machine wash but dry flat you're just use six millimeter needles for it Oof, i know fast i know and it, there's 161 yards but i have eight of these so you have eight eight, eight hundred so well over like a thousand yards probably easy easy so that's not a I was thinking That's of blanket oh, stuff. I know. I thought yeah. I'm going to make an afghan out of it. And yeah. I thought, and I can crochet. Is, are they all the same color? Yes. It's all the same color. So I was going to crochet, um, a, a blank, a corner to corner blanket. Cause there's one I know that I can whip up really fast. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. So that would get rid of eight skeins of yarn. So mm. that I think covers the other thing. Right. So that was, that's option four <laughs> option five is i bought this with irene oh my god years ago when she was going through treatment when she was learning to crochet and all this yeah. stuff i had four of these yes i know i only have used... i gave one to a woman yeah um i paid like five dollars for it yeah. it was at that it was at uh, listowel oh okay in there and they just they have like it's all ends it's like patents and patents and Bernat is a lot of the stuff that they carry there yes and they um, have like a once once a year they have like a big tent, sa tent sale oh and they have one and it's in North Carolina yeah. and they have and yeah. um your inspirations also helps with yeah. that which is part of Bernat yeah and that is where Mikey and Dan yes also they used to go down to that the tent yeah. sale and talk to the ladies and see everyone anyways I weighed this and it weighs 420 grams and I have two of them the other one weighs 435 or 36 grams so like that's well over 800 grams so what would you make with that I was gonna do a blanket yeah I was just say, it because be it's definitely blanket, blanket material, material or stuffed animals or yeah. something like that yeah. so I, d I have made a stuffed sheep out of this because look at that is that not perfect for making a stuffed sheep yes <laughs> like is that not perfect yeah so I did do that 
Um, so that was also that's option five, and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, you got it, you got to. So now I like I have to figure it because I can start tomorrow. tomorrow. So I'm actually mostly leaning towards this one because it would be nice to get it done. Get it done. I'm gonna and give get, it to get, my granddaughter. She loves cozy blankets and yeah. she always naps on the couch even if it's like 90 degrees outside she likes to grab a blanket uh -huh. <laughs> so that'd be perfect for her so this is what i'm thinking and it's dark they have three dogs and so yeah and with and i want something that washes and but easily. the only problem is it says dry flat yeah so if i told my son he would make sure that it was done and i'm also tempted to at times just say give them to me i'll and wash I'll it wash and i'll clean it, it and i'll make sure it gets done properly so it lasts mm -hmm. so and they're aware they're aware of that they know that i will do that for them so mm -hmm. but yeah so i think i'm leaning towards this one it would be nice to get because, because i look at the eight, fingering eight weight and i get, think get, oh get, that no. can just finger and weight for a lot of it can take that much longer yes and yes i do have a lot of time on my hands because i am retired I know my husband's on holidays now. We're going to be back and forth at the cottage, and they're busy up there. And I just I know when the kids come up with the grant with mm -hmm. my grandkids, uh, there's just no. Yeah. I I don't get a, I get a, well, maybe an yeah. hour or so in the evening, a couple hours in the evening if I'm lucky. Yeah. For doing that, yeah. so I just want something that's it's quick kind of and quick easy and easy, and I so that get is, it done. That's why I think I'm gonna, cause I was tempted. Not only that, making that that's getting rid of eight balls. It's eight <laughs> balls that are gone, right? It's, they're in this big plastic bag. Yeah. I was tempted either to give it to my granddaughter or my mother-in-law because yeah. for the cottage, cause she bought it up at, at, the, up cottage, at the cottage, so she would just yeah. think that that's just the best thing, yeah. right? I think either way you're gonna. Yeah, win. either way I'll win. So, but I think that is what I'm leaning towards. Yeah, is that just because I really want to get do this blanket, and get it off of my list, cause it's it's sort of. It's not yeah. scrap yarn. I have that on one of my things is to make another, like start another scrappy blanket. This is not starting a scrappy blanket, but, but it, it, like, it's getting rid of eight skeins of yarn. Of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got, I look at my stuff and I know I don't even have half the stash of what I know a lot of people have, Yeah. but I still have a lot and I just look at that and I just sometimes look at it and I, it feels overwhelming. Yes. At times. Uh, yes. That's how I feel too. When I look at mine and yeah. I, 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 yeah. I've got and to, I can't I've got to fast enough. No, I so can't. I, just, I can't. Uh, yeah. That would be my super power. I'd like to <laughs> knit faster. Knit faster. Knit faster. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I find I go in waves. I's like, yes. I kind of lose my yeah. lose interest lose in it, and then I get all excited and I mm -hmm. knit like crazy. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. So, but I am. I'm trying to keep on track, and these these two things I've joined to try to help. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. So, but that's that. Yeah. That's pretty much what yeah. I, I think. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I think the green blanket is yes. a really good option. For you. Yes, I think so. I think so. Mm -hmm. It'll work out really well mm -hmm. for as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So, but so that's that the is, plan. That's so I'm going to show you my, what my plan, plan is yes. once I get. Oh, I love this. Long so long. I know last time we talked about this. This was a, a knit crate that we had received called their Colorway Diamond, and it's we one get two of those. Yes. Yes. Uh, Uru. Yeah. The Uru yarn. Yes. So it's 70% um, superwash, 20% nylon, 10% yes. Stellina. It's a sport weight. It's got these sparkles in it. It's, it's, uh, it looks very tonal there, but it's, I don't think it's terribly tonal. No, it's pretty um, monochromatic, the color. Yeah. So, but look at the sparkles, the sparkles in it. So, so nice. Anyway, I have wanted to do, I have two of these. Yeah balls yes. of yarn and this is a DK weight but I think they will be fine together yes so this one is called the colorway is called Wasega Surf so Wasega Beach or Wasago Beach yeah. or however you pronounce it yeah is here in Ontario a lot of people go there oh it's a fabulous um, beach during the summer because you it's get just, to the beach and you're just like wow this yeah. is in Canada <laughs> yeah because it's just like you can see yeah. this is I guess the color of the wall I've never been yeah, but I have it's lovely there yeah so um, this is from Georgian Bay Fiber company yeah um and this is their mccoy dk i don't even know if she has any of this this is 100 percent. i went online she's treated merino yeah so i thought these two together i would think look stunning. so beautiful it's stunning so i have two of the the sil the gray this. color but i i think i only need one and she's and i've got two of, two of these 
And what I want to make with these is, my plan is, I'm going to make a cropped version of the fern and feather. And maybe even short sleeves. Yeah, oh definitely. Short yeah. sleeves. Yeah. It has to be short sleeves and yeah. a cropped version. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to make um, using this. So the, the feathery, the, ferny The pattern up top will is be the, the, the sparkly. With the sparkly. And then the body will be the, the blue. Yeah. So that's oh, my plan. That'll be so nice. So that's the next thing that yeah. I'll be working on once I get my ranunculus done. So yeah. it's giving me a little bit more of a, a boost yes. now that I know yeah. what I want to do next mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I am amazed at how much I just love these cropped sweaters. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of having it for that in between time where you don't really yeah. want to wear a long sleeve sweater, yeah. but you know, you maybe it's a little cool in the evening yeah. or something. Well, and, and, you can just... and they are like good for spring and fall. You can wear like a long sleeve shirt, shirt underneath, underneath them, it. And they, they're really good for that as yeah. well. So I yeah. know they're really, really nice. So, and I like, uh, like I've tried on what I tend to do is I wear my crop ones. I'll not, I haven't really had a chance to because it yeah. hasn't really been weather, weather timing wise, but mm -hmm. uh, I like wear it over a dress. Yes. So uh, that way I don't have to worry about, you know, long sleeve, short sleeves. Like yes. I can, I can yeah. wear it on, uh, with a dress. And mm -hmm. I just, I love the look of it because a lot of my dresses yeah. I wear are, have the sort of the band under the bust. Yes. And I find that with the crop, crop and then the, nice. it just, it just it's, gives a really nice yeah. look. Yes, a nice it does. shape. It does. So yeah. uh, for me. And so, yeah, that's what I'm thinking is, is it'll work really well like yes. that. Yeah, uh, well. and if you have like a high waisted, I know you can get a lot of. See, I haven't been buying clothes for a couple, of, for several years, years. Um, because we don't, we're not working, so we're not we don't working, need so I don't need wardrobe. a lot of stuff, and my wardrobe is switched to yoga gear. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but the, I know high waisted um, pants and skirts and things yeah. are coming back into mm -hmm. style, and the crop looks really nice with that. Yes, it so does. Um, I'm very thinking, much so. It looks really good with it. I'm thinking that the. Uh, a cropped version of something is going to look yeah. really cool. That will so really I've, nice. I've fallen in love with that and I've always loved color work yokes. Yes. So, um, and then I'm finding that like just a, the, basically a one, like a two color. Oh, that's so it's nice. Just, it goes so quickly. Yes, it, really it does. does. It goes quickly when yeah. you don't have too many colors. Yes. So, so, which is good. Yeah. So that's on my plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you go back in our Instagram feed, cause isn't that the one, the pink one? The pretty in pink, uh, the pink that mm -hmm. uh, is that the same one that uh, Jennifer Gen did? Yes. yes, yes. And if you go back in her Instagram, oh, it'd be feed, a while ago. It would be. It's like almost a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. She knit um, a two week length. Yeah, that one that, in uh, the feather and fan. It, the color for the main body she used it was by Feisty Fibers. Her, her pink, pink. P A N K. Yeah. Um, it's. It's stunning. stunning. And then she, she used, used one her, of her own, her own gradient, gradient yarns that I use for like for the yoke in my kids' sweat in the mm -hmm. my grandkids' sweater you know, from last episode. Like this. The gradient that yeah. she she does she dyes up gradient sweater yoke. So yeah. she used that for the color work. Yeah. So that it's like you don't change color, you just knit through, knit it, through it and it. the gradient just and it looked stunning yeah I, stunning. I remember i tried it on and i was like i wonder if i could like not take this off and give yeah. it back because it's just so nice. i know you fell absolutely in love mm -hmm. with the with, with that, that pattern. pattern yeah yeah and, because yeah. of that so it, it was really really nice so that mm -hmm. was really good but that's pretty much it the only thing we ever uh do now is pretty much what's new to us we didn't do a lot of new to us because we haven't had a lot of new dust. No. But we finally got our June knit crate. So mm -hmm. I'm going to show that. This is their Audine wools called Interlock. And this is um, one of those, I guess it's, it's like, like a, a chain. Chain tw twist. Uh, it, 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 looks yeah. like a, it looks like a chain necklace. Um, and this is the colorway. It's called Haze. And it's, it's a very gorgeous. gray purple, so we got two. Yep. We get the two. It's beautiful. Um, they didn't say the weight, but we're figuring it's sort of like a DK weight because there's 351 yards in yeah, the so 100 grams. Yeah, I was trying grams. to figure if it was like a, a DK sport type of 
Yeah, weight. it's around there. Yeah. Um, and it's 34% cotton, 35% linen, 19% lyocell, and 11% nylon. And it is so soft. It's so soft. So, so soft. Oh my gosh, it's nice. Um, so, but we absolutely love it. Like, just, like, look at that purple with the, the, I tonal, love the tonal, very lavender yeah. looking. And I absolutely love, like, you it can It would tell make such, because it's, like, got the cotton and linen. Yes. The bulk of it is cotton and linen. And I think lyocell is probably another uh, natural fiber. Yes. I, I feel like it would make a really cute tank top. Yes, it would. So now I need to find a tank top that uses this much yarn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, um, so we'll just have to see. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. And we got like, you got, uh, because of all the COVID stuff and the mailing and they, they usually it came, came in a box. They've been doing it in, um, packaging, disposable packaging mm -hmm. and plastic packaging. Um, you get a card inside and it gives you a code of, and, uh, where to get link, the patterns, a to link get the patterns. to get the patterns. Cause they give you usually two sock patterns and two shawl or wrap or like two other patterns. Other patterns. Depending. Or, Cause like depending I find on. in the winter they, mm -hmm. they have like hats, hats and, and mitts, mitts and, and scarves. And, yeah. So yeah. The, the patterns are always quite seasonal and yes. they're always, there's always a nice variety. Yes. I, I haven't even gone on to look at the pattern, but, and then the little freebie they threw in were like just a bunch of colored color pins. Pin. Yeah. Which is nice. Colored straight oh, pins. Never go wrong with those. No, no, not at all. So absolutely love that. But this is, I'm going to say that this is, uh, will be our last knit crate. This mm -hmm. one. We've decided that we're, um. Yeah. We just, they, yeah. they're just. There is nothing wrong with any of the Absolutely yarn. Absolutely nothing. We've loved we, every we've loved skein everything. that we've received from them. Um, Absolutely loved it. They're they're just changing their program slightly, and yes. we took that opportunity yes. to opt out of remaining ambassadors for yes. them. Um, but we can't say enough wonderful things about I know the I company, know. about the yarns, oh, the yeah. offerings, the oh. patterns, everything that they have done They've has been, been fabulous. amazing. Absolutely fabulous. Um, and, and the options, they, they seem yes. like they're always, um, upgrading their option choices. Yes. Like when you just, you could suddenly, they offered where you could choose if you wanted warm tones or cool tones or neutrals or neutrals, yes. or if you wanted to just take whatever they decided and we to always you. just took whatever just took whatever we thought why not it's a surprise it's anyway a surprise. so yes so um and they have they offer support online they have yes. reveals on youtube i mean they're really wonderful company so yes. it's not against them at all no. it's just a choice that we have made i have got so much so yarn much yarn that we feel like We've we're not tried really to, doing we're, yes uh, the justice. best justice yeah. for their yarn. So we yeah. took the opportunity of their, they changed their platform slightly and it meant yes. some stuff that we were we had to, to do, which, and, and we just thought, mm, you know what, yeah. let's, let's step back from this yes. and perhaps there's an opportunity for someone else to, to, to take up and be an ambassador, ambassador for, for them, them because who can they, really show off their yeah. yarns. Cause yeah. um, please, you know, continue. Don't t see that we're stepping away from them. Please continue to use yes. their product. If you yes. have been enjoying them. Oh yeah. 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 Because so. we've thoroughly enjoyed getting yes. all the, what we've been given. Yeah. It's just fabulous. Now mm -hmm. we just have to, Use, use it. it. I know we have patterns. They give you patterns to use, but yeah. sometimes it's just not your preference of a pattern. So, but that's okay. But the yarn is always yeah. amazing. Because yeah. usually the pattern designers also offer coupon codes so you can get discounts off of their patterns mm -hmm. on other patterns yeah. that they show online. So like the bonus. Mm -hmm. So there you mm -hmm. go. So there's always lots of patterns to choose from. Yes. So so, um, anyway, we hope everybody is keeping well. Things yeah. are slowly opening up here for yes. us. We We're moved finally into to stage three, stage three. What we call stage three. Yeah. So that means, uh, you know, we, mm -hmm. in Ontario, you have to wear a mask in an indoor public yes. place, like a mall or a grocery store yeah. or, and, a, and, or an, any, office building, an office building, if you're going into an office um, or anything like so that. So I think a lot of businesses are slowly opening up. Mm -hmm. I know restaurants, they can now serve indoors, but it's but like 50% capacity. capacity for most mm -hmm. places mm -hmm. to give the, the space. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, things are slowly coming back. Uh, I know the numbers 
we're slowly creeping up in some areas. places, yeah. uh, the more populous places, yes. but nothing too bad. So they're nope. you know back on the news again, like yep. encouraging people to continue washing yep. their yep. hands, wearing masks. And there's masks. commercials all about it yep. as well. And yep. I have no problem. Yeah, I and no I problem. I'm still not really going out very often. I no. go out maybe once a week, maybe two weeks. I know. Same I know. Here. It's, it's not like point. I'm shopping every day or no. anything. It's like like you really do rethink how you, how often you go to the store yes and maybe doing it all in one go instead of going here here to stay and going here and going here like just uh, yeah. uh constantly to make one big trip do the whole thing and yeah. it's done and yeah. you don't have to go out again yes so so yeah it's just you know, organizing it's just your time, time. yeah, yeah. it's, it's funny because at first it was like i think i had not been out in like four or five weeks mm -hmm. when, when this first all happened, I think. It, and then when I got out, it was like, I felt really weird being out. Yes. <laughs> I hadn't yeah. been out in so long. Yeah, I know. And now, uh, yeah, I kind of have to balance it. I, and, I like seeing the, I know some of you women may, may understand this. I liked seeing there was a thing that sort of popped up on some of one of my friends posted on Facebook and it's like, take, when you get to the car and you take your mask off and it's like, <sighs> it's like getting in your front door after a hard day of work and removing your, your bra. bra. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's I said, yeah, was... pretty much yeah, like that. Yeah. Pretty much like that. So I know. Uh, Anyways, I that's about it. Yeah. So um, I know it's been a little bit since we yeah. uh, last podcast, Maybe three, but four weeks, about yeah. three or four weeks. But that's uh, well. Just Margaret's working. She's doing. She's getting yeah. paid work. Her yes, editing. My her free, freelance yeah, work, editing, which I'm happy about. So she's quite busy. So yeah. she managed to come out. We were having the knit night last night. First, our, actually, it was our second time getting together. You weren't able to make the first one. Um, the first one, we went to another one of the other girls in the group. She had it outside at her house, and everything was all spaced apart. Mm -hmm. And her husband cooked us all wings for to That's eat nice. for dinner. Uh, another girl brought uh, her homemade limoncello that we had mixed with some iced tea. Um, just a little snippet. I said, just a little bit, because I'm the one that's driving. Yeah. Everybody else can have what they want, but I'm driving, so this is what I'm getting. Um, we all wore our masks in the car, the girls that I picked up. And we had hand sanitizer in the car, and we picked mm -hmm. them up. We wore our masks when we were together in the car. Uh, when we were outside, we didn't wear our masks, but we all visited the, the main meat table, like food table and drink table. We all visited that one at a time. We all took our turns doing at it instead of us all congregating at once with the food. So we were all very, very safe. We cleaned our hands before we got back into the car, just the whole thing. And it worked out very well. Mm -hmm. We came last night. We sat outside on the deck. It was lovely at first until it got to about nine o'clock yeah. when it started the, it getting was a, really little a little darker and the mosquitoes were starting to come out. So yeah, then we just sort of like, good night. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> But everybody like was outside, and so it was nice. And we were all separated, like good far, a good distance. Like we weren't like six feet apart, but we were outside. There was a bit of a breeze, so and yeah, we, we were, were far enough yeah. apart. We weren't sitting side by side this close, mm -hmm. so it all worked out well. Yeah, but it was nice to see the ladies again, the ladies yeah. that came. Yeah, and we really missed having the ones that no, yeah that, that didn't come that couldn't come. Yeah. It's it's because it is nice to see actually see your friends. Yeah, other than online, online going yes. Zoom. <laughs> hey yeah. everyone. Yeah. So, but the positive side to doing a Zoom at night, everybody can sit there so with, with a with glass a of wine yeah, or no, a drink. No drink. Nobody's no driving. driving so. so yeah, yeah, well, that's fun. That's how we were doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, that is it. We'll hopefully get together in a couple weeks or so. Yeah. Hubby's on holidays, but we'll be back and forth in the next three weeks a lot from the cottage. So uh, we'll see if we can get together yeah. and do another one yeah. in that time. But we'll just see. If not, it'll be after that. It'll be towards the end of August. Yeah. But anyways, I hope everybody's staying safe and having a great summer. It's been wonderful up here. It's been hot as all get, get out, out yeah. but I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. So enjoy the rest of your summer, everyone, and we will talk with you all later. Bye for now. Bye.